Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Brutalier. And today, we have a little bit of a different setup. We are at Cameron's apartment, Cam Flick, my lovely uh, cameraman. And, um... We're sitting on his chair. Anyways, um, so today we're going to be talking about the Essence sale. It's been going on for, you know, a little while now. And I have some, like, picks or whatever, you know? Like, you know, I think every every fashion YouTuber is obligated to, to uh, make a video on their, their Essence sale picks. So why not showcase mine a week and a half late? Um, before we get too deep in this video, if you're new here, hey, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Um, subscribe and or hit the push notification bell so you know when the next video is going to be and if you're returning thanks appreciate it let's let's just jump into the video shall we all right so with all these picks i kind of chose things that for the most part i could realistically um acquire i didn't pick anything that was like you know like two grand or whatever because I'm just quite simply not going to buy that. So, let's start off with this little this little sweater vest here. I'm I'm kind of into the whole sweater vest thing. I realize it's a little bit of a trend going on, but I like it. I don't know. So this first one is this Anderson Bell knit. I feel like Anderson Bell's like strong suit is like knitwear anyways, and at a price point of 110 not awful i think the print is really really great the colors are great it's more of a crew neck vest which is nice i feel like a lot of times you see sweater vests with like a like a deeper v which there's nothing wrong with that but i think this one just kind of something about it it's just, it's just nice moving on we have this beautiful jacket probably one of my favorite jackets that's on this list it is from the brand second layer i really enjoy second layer i feel like i've never owned anything from them but come here Oh yeah, got a special guest in here. Anyways, um, I feel like everything they do is just so clean, which I really enjoy. And this jacket is like no exception to that. It's like blue and like a cream color, which is like absolutely beautiful. It kind of has like a westerny vibe, which is pretty neat. And it's just a similar silhouette to a lot of the things that I wear. It would seamlessly fit into my wardrobe, which I think is pretty cool. The sales price is still $1,000, so I will not be will not be partaking in that one however it's it's nice and some of the stuff honestly might be like out of stock like in my size or just in general at this point so bear with me if you see anything that's like super duper cool but out of stock like you know i'm sorry the story mfg bag it's identified as a stash bag a snail stash bag but it's just cool it has like this like crochet looking looking vibe to it just looks like a, like an old lady bag or something i've seen some like similar ones from like goodwill so like if you're out thrifting, like just look for the style of bag because you probably can find something similar. It's very, it's very nice. I don't know. It's just like a nice little like whatever, like just sling it on and and go type of situation. You keep hitting me on your tail. Anyways, 179 though. I don't know. It's just I like Story MFG. I've never actually owned anything from them. I realize their stuff is pricey, but 179 for a bag that I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of. Next up, we have these Issey Miyake pants, these pleated pants. You know, everyone's seen the pleats. They've been, like, almost borderline meme, memed out, but uh, I still like them. They all have a really great silhouette to them. The color on this one is, like, what really does it for me. It's, like, this beautiful purple, like, the very dark, like, almost, like, dusty purple, which is really nice. And, you know, they just, they just hit right at the, like, right over the shoe, which is just beautiful. No, I, I just think the color is one of those, like... I don't own anything in that like dark purple, but I, I would see it in my wardrobe if that makes sense. Like I, I feel like it would realistically just blend right in with everything else I have. So for that reason, I'm into them. Next up, we have a pair of shoes, a pair of sandals for that. It's like this like Birkenstock Arizona looking shoe from the brand by Walid, uh, which I really enjoy their stuff. Um, and it's kind of like reconstructed out of like, uh, whatchamacallit, like recycled materials or whatever like scraps so I don't think any if I'm reading the description right every pair is a little bit different which is pretty cool actually um it's kind of like it's kind of cool kind of not because you know like I, I'm looking at these ones right here and I like the pattern but like what if I get 
get mine in and it's like completely different colors kind of like when you buy a needles rebuild tee you don't know what you're gonna get so you might get something that's like incredible or you might get like you know some absolute t-shirt that has like cold play on it or something i don't know but nevertheless i think these are really cool the price 381 it's steep i feel like out of everything i'm showing in this thing i could almost I would almost put this as my top item, like in terms of something that I would realistically like maybe get, but I don't know, 381 on a pair of slides is, it's, it's steep. The next one is this t-shirt, ooh, I'm just doing a lot of talking here. The next one is this t-shirt by the brand Western Hydrodynamic Research. Uh, it's like a, what I believe to be like a newer brand, it's kind of just like randomly started like popping, which, um, I mean it's really simple, it's literally just like text and then text on the back. It literally just looks like a font, but something about it is just very satisfying to me. I don't know what it is. Um, they describe it as like describe it as a uniform T-shirt, which I kind of get. Like it literally just looks like like it, it almost looks like you're working for some sort of like company or something. Like it looks like a company T-shirt. Um, but like I said, it's just it's satisfying. So thirty nine dollars, also not bad, not bad at all. Anyways, moving on, we have these. Bottega Veneta uh, stilt derbies. Um, these things are really, really cool. Obviously, there's a huge platform on them, so, you know, me being 5'9", that might give me the six foot jump, which is pretty cool. Um, the color is really nice. I would have to see how it fits on foot because I could easily see myself looking like I'm wearing like clown shoes in these. Um, but on the other hand, I could see them looking really great. So it would be a little bit of a um, gamble. However, I do really enjoy these. 728, while I don't think is like the worst, it's only 25% off the retail, which I, I don't know. I feel like at that point, I'd rather just get them secondhand. The next up is this ring right here from a designer named Chin Teo. Uh, this, I don't know too, too much about um, Chin Teo. I just know that like all of uh, his rings are absolutely insane. Um, they're all very like, I think they're all handmade. They're all very like, meticulous looking they're all very like almost weathered looking they look very like there's a lot of dimensions to them like texture and things like that and just like different like shapes and silhouettes but this one i really like it just looks very worn in i think it's like one of like i think it's like an oxidized ring so it like gets a little bit like shinier as you like go and wear and stuff which is really neat 220 i feel like is honestly for a smaller like with it being a smaller brand with it being handmade with it being you know like really premium materials I don't think that that's that bad. I, I do think that it's like a lot, but you know, you wear your jewelry like every single day. You know, I didn't pay much for the rings I have, but I do wear them like every single day. So it's something to think about. You know, if you're going to get everyday wear out of something, you you do kind of make your, you get your money's worth. So I would definitely recommend checking his stuff out in general because there is loads more. Next up, we have these hiking boots from a brand that I've always referred to as DMA, but I've also heard someone say DM, so I don't know if I'm right or if I'm just an absolute idiot, but I like these shoes a lot. I've seen multiple colorways, and I like all the colorways actually. They almost have like kind of a Reese Cooper vibe, even though these, you know, came out before the uh, Reese Cooper boots, but they look like, you know, like you're, there's a lot of like similar silhouettes. You could definitely find yourself like probably a brand that does these a little bit cheaper. Um, looking at brands like perhaps Merrill, I'm sure you could find something similar. However, these are really, really beautiful. Um, they would fit very, very well in my uh, wardrobe and I feel like I would wear them a bunch. However, my size is sold out. I felt like 257 was honestly kind of, I'm not going to say it's a steal, but it's definitely a great deal. Um, but alas, my size is sold out, so. Next up are these corduroy trousers, these corduroy flares um, by ERL. I feel like most people just know ERL as like the brand of like, you know, those the puffers that are, you know, we all know what those puffers look like. But uh, these pants are beautiful. I love the color. It's like just like this bright, uh, like tangerine orange, is that a, maybe? Maybe something like that. Kind of looks like like string cheese or something like just the way it looks on the legs like you know just long string cheese legs that's probably what it would look like on me because i'm you know i have string cheese legs but uh <laughs> nevertheless they are very very cool i'm definitely a big flare guy you know 
it's, it's just nice, you know, it's, they're satisfying looking, not much else to say, but, uh, moving on, we have a, another pair of kind of Birkenstock type looking silhouette vibe thing, uh, it's these JW Anderson chain loafers, I'm pretty sure most people have probably seen these, they're kind of, they're kind of meme-like in a sense, like it has this just ginormous, ridiculous chain on the front of it, um, which is kind of like, it's like somewhat like over the top and tech it's like somewhat over the top and kind of tacky but also somewhat like luxurious and uh like cool i don't know like i think i could see it from both ways i just don't really wear a lot of gold you know as i was just showing my silver rings and because of that i don't really like mixing the two like that they do have one that's black on black where the chain is black as well but at that point I feel like it just doesn't show out as much. I feel like I would have rather had like black with a silver chain, but it's okay. Um, they're like almost $500 anyways with the discount, so I won't be getting those more than likely. There's a million items on the Essence sale. I didn't look through every single one. Um, I looked through, you know, as many as I could, kind of like going by like designers, things like that. Uh, so there's more out there. Definitely take a look if you haven't already. This video is not sponsored. However, Essence, uh, I love you. Sponsor me, please. Send me clothing. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so take a look. Take a look for yourself. See what you like, what you don't. Uh, you can kind of get a feel for, you know, brands that you like from simply just going on Essence. So you should do that. Shout out Essence, which are the front of this mic. Shout out Essence, we got this t-shirt, came in. Y'all are faster than Amazon, so please sponsor my channel. Y'all ship faster than Amazon, which is mind-blowing. Thanks for everything you do. Anyway, back to the video. Essence, um... please follow me on instagram at mark underscore brutalier let me know if you enjoy this video down in the comments and um i have stickers now so we we shall see how that goes and maybe leave a comment maybe i'll even you know leave a comment with your instagram handle and perhaps i will reach out to some of you guys and send you some just as a side note and you know look out look out for your local uh local walls <laughs> Well, I don't know what else you slap stickers on. Stop signs. Just look out for some look out for some stickers. I don't know. Anyways, love you. Have a good one. Give your friends a kiss for me. And um I'll bye. I got chimes, I'm a chimes. I got